finally getting my Saturn put back together. These injectors have over 200,000 miles on them. As far as I recall, they were working fine when I took the car apart, but they've been sitting for about a year unused now. Wanted to clean them up, make sure everything is going to be good to go uh, when I go to fire this thing up. So here's my little redneck method and um, trying to keep it as simple as possible. I know somebody's going to give me crap about forcing this through these injectors because this is intended to be diluted in a whole tank full of gas but I'm only putting a little bit through and then I'm gonna flush with gasoline afterwards and this is basically gonna clean the injectors all the way through and it's gonna give me peace of mind that the injectors are not stuck and they're working so very simple to get started um, take an injector I'm taking the o-rings off like that taking a standard piece of hose and it fits nice and tight over that and then I have a piece of a wiring harness that fits this injector if you don't have that you could just use alligator clips or whatever means necessary to connect to that connector it just helps to have one that latches on because most people only have two hands now into this hose, I'm just going to pour some of that. Now, I don't want to put my mouth on that. So here, I've got just a 30 caliber cartridge. It has been cleaned. There's no lead on it. So there we go. That's my mouthpiece to blow on. So I'm going to apply air pressure in there. And I'm going to toggle the fuel injector with this battery. So the air pressure basically just forces the fluid through, you toggle it with the battery and it opens the valve inside and off you go. So now that I've gone ahead and flushed that with the cleaner, I'm going to go ahead and flush it with gasoline. Once I do that, then I'll go ahead and put new O-rings on. Be sure to lubricate them when you put them on. That way everything will go together nicely. Nothing will bind up. And in the end, I feel like these fuel injectors should be in healthy, usable condition. Whether or not you feel safe doing it this way, that's your choice. Works for me. Thanks for watching.